Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome to my review of Liverpool 3, Torino 1. The pre-season campaign has finally ended. It feels like it's been a long one. I'm always excited about pre-season. I always enjoy watching it. I love the carefree nature of watching your team just play against random teams all over the world. And it has culminated here at Anfield in a 3-1 win for the Reds. It looked like a lovely occasion. Everyone enjoyed themselves. The atmosphere was quite nice. It was loud, especially for the first uh, 10 minutes. Some nice receptions for Jordan Henderson coming back, for Loris Karras um, facing his fears of, of the Liverpool crowd who, you know, maybe some of them maybe been a bit harsh towards him. All of us are guilty of it, but it was great to see him get, um, you know, a good ovation as he uh, came on for Allison on 75 minutes. But the important thing is Liverpool played really well, no injuries, um, especially the first half when it was close to the first team. We played some really, really nice football and some players stake the claim uh, to start against West Ham. There are still some selection headaches for Jurgen Klopp, particularly with Joe Gomez uh, missing this one through a niggle. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to uh, face West Ham. I'm sure we might find out from Klopp in the next few minutes, maybe. So by the time this goes out, he might have even confirmed either way. But with Radnor Clavin having a problem with Dejan Lovren only just coming back from the World Cup and not even getting any minutes tonight, the last thing he needed was Joe Gomez um, to pick up a niggle. Nat Phillips plays alongside Van Dijk tonight, but he plays the majority of the game, which suggests to me that you know if he was going to be needed against West Ham, Nat Phillips, then he might have been withdrawn earlier. So the fact that he plays must have been 75 minutes here, uh, makes me think that Joe Gomez or Ragnar Klavan will be okay, or even Dejan Lovren, you never know. Uh, but I would imagine Joe Gomez will be okay to partner Virgil van Dijk. Uh, and then the rest will be, you know, the rest will be down to preference, really. James Milner or Jorginho Wijnaldum will be a decision. Milner obviously needed stitches against Napoli. Um, but Van Alden was the best player on the park tonight, to be honest. The first half, his runs from deep, running into the box, um, his, his effort, his tempo, everything about him was just perfect. When he had those two players, you know, with the energy of Fabinho and Keita alongside him, he was really given the chance to flourish. I was very impressed, not only the goal, um, but he got himself into a couple of other good positions as well. Um, and yeah, his passing was really crisp, really impressive Gini Van Alden, and I see no reason why he shouldn't start, not just based on that, but, you know, we, we all know what qualities he possesses. Um, and he is a goal threat. I, I know he, he, he can um, register many last season compared to the season before. But he is a goal threat from central midfield, especially with, um, you know, legs around him, which he will certainly have this time around. And the, and the other question would be, you know, Trent or Klein. Trent gets a good hour under his belt tonight. So, you know, I... I would say he probably is ready. You know, if Firmino is ready, he came back at a similar sort of time and he looks raring to go as well. He scores tonight. Um, and he, yeah, I mean, him, Mane and Salah had some lovely moments. I mean, some things weren't quite coming off, but there was some lovely intricate play um, around the opponent's penalty area. And just maybe the final ball wasn't quite there. The same thing happened second half a few times with Sturridge, just a final finish. Just a few, just a few edges to roughen up a little bit. But yeah, really pleased with the result, really pleased with the scoreline. Um, so let's go through it from start to finish. Um, we started the game the, the much brighter side. Two early goals, vintage Liverpool with that with that attacking trio and the runs coming from midfield. Uh, Firmino gets the first goal. We we wasted a few chances. Obviously, Fabinho gets the penalty and just drags it wide. I mean, who is our penalty attacker going to be this season? I mean, I thought Mane, having scored a couple in pre-season, might have secured that. Um, but, you know, Fabinho takes this one. Maybe he just fancies it in a friendly. I honestly don't know. Milner has missed a couple. Um, you know, Salah missed one last season, I think. So, yeah, I mean, Firmino's taken a couple. Honestly, it's um, very, very unpredictable situation. Maybe it is going to be Fabinho. I'm sure he won't be too bothered by the fact that he missed in this friendly. He recovered well and had a good game. He was very composed on the ball, um, dictating the play from, from that number six position. He looks to have, you know, he looks very comfortable there, as he should, of course. Um, but yeah, the players went up to him after he missed, and it was it was no big drama. He went on to win the game anyway. So that hopefully that won't uh, be in his head next time he takes one, if he does indeed become our penalty taker. But yes, we do score through Firmino. Uh, a good ball from Nat Phillips forward. Uh, Mohamed Salah. Uh, involved in that build-up there as well. And yeah, Firmino with a deflected strike into the roof of the net. Uh, the second one is a lovely, lovely Liverpool goal. Um, excuse me, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting that mixed up, aren't I? With Nat Phillips' ball for the second goal when um, Firmino plays Van Alden three after Salah is involved there. Uh, Salah is involved in the first as well, though, of course. I'm waffling. And Van Alden with a lovely finish at the near post to make it 2-0. And Liverpool are rampant at this stage. We do concede quite a sloppy goal 
Um, Belotti with the header. Belotti obviously an elite striker. I'm surprised he's still at Torino. I'm not sure whether he's going to move before this window closes. Um, Torino finished ninth in the league last season. Belotti is a young striker. He's got time on his side, but you know he's got so much about him. He's got size, presence, pace, power. Um, really enjoyed watching him play tonight. And he, you know it's a great lesson for Nat Phillips. You know being thrown in at the deep end at Anfield. Uh, and you know Belotti certainly didn't give him an easy night. It's Moreno who should do better with the, you know stopping the cross coming into the box. Um, Klopp's not happy with Nabi Keita for leaving Moreno kind of exposed. Uh, and then Phillips obviously has Belotti peeling off him, and Allison has no chance as he heads it past him. And the third goal, second half. I mean, the second half the tempo wasn't quite there. I think we were just kind of going through the motions, just making sure we got through the game okay and make sure everyone's fitness levels was okay. I mean, we made more than eleven changes in the end. I think um, just really giving some youngsters a good taste. Of of that Anfield crowd, but it is a wonderful cross from Shakiri or that diagonal ball in towards Sturridge, who just glanced it into the bottom corner, having missed a couple of chances on his right foot. Um, but even the ones that he missed, the first one in particular, great touch, dragged it to gain a yard against the defender and the right foot had shot. I guess the angle wasn't quite there to beat the keeper at the near post. And then the second one, Lalana, who I thought had a really good second half, by the way, and I'm glad he's not still injured. That was, that was a concern of mine going into the weekend. It's good that he's available for selection. Um, plays it to Sturridge, who again with his right foot goes for one of those lazy finishes, similar to the one that he put away against Man United. Uh, but yeah, this time it just goes wide. And he looked really angry with himself, and it's great to see him so hungry, so determined um, to be scoring goals, even in meaningless games like this. Uh, but he does look really fit, and he looks to have that little bit of pace back. Not quite the 13-14 pace, but a little bit of pace back, which is really, really intriguing. What else was impressive? Um, Allison, good with his feet, very little... Um, to do in terms of goal mouth action, but yeah, I mean, it was a very solid Anfield debut for him. Naby Keita played, played well. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That is the pre-season campaign all over. We've only lost one game, and that game, you know, against Dortmund in Charlotte after all that travelling, I know it was the same for both teams, but, um, and that was kind of marred by, there was a bit of a dodgy penalty, and Karras was going through his problems then as well and yeah but you know that game aside I think we've played really really well from start to finish there's been progression constant progression the style of play is still there we just look just like we did at our best last season at times there tonight and, and it's the same against Napoli and the same against uh, United and even City in that second half in New Jersey I was really impressed there so Delighted that we've got a very, very fit squad. Um, plenty of options. Of course, centre about being the only concern going into West Ham. I mean, I saw talk on Twitter before the game about people saying um, we need to sign a centre-back because of this Gomez setback for me. Come on, you, you've got to place faith in, in your squad at this point. You can't be having six um, you know, centre-backs that want to play. You, know, you can't be... I mean, there's depth and then there's just having a, a bloated squad that you know, is just not... Um, it's just not the way to succeed in, in, in football, you know, having six centre-backs would just be mental. So, I mean, Nat Phillips is probably the sixth choice or, or Conor Masterson or whatever. And if, if, it, if it so happens that because of people coming back late from the World Cup or niggles that for one game you might have to thrust somebody in, then you thrust somebody in. Fabinho played a bit of centre-back there as well, so that could be an option. Let's not panic. Let's not buy someone just because Joe Gomez has a knock. And I know people want to see signings. I know... Um, it's all exciting with the, the end of the transfer window and people want us to do business. But, you know, even in the attacking areas, I, I know we're a little lighter than some clubs. Um, and I know we've, you know, we've missed out on that both for Kieran. It's clear we did want him. But, you know, let's have, let, let's have some context. Jordan Shakiri can play across that attacking midfield position and he again was terrific tonight. He's such a live wire. He's so exciting to watch. I think he's going to be an absolute bargain. Everyone just loves watching him. The fans were ooing and ahhing when he was on the ball. Um, and yeah, he picks out storage with that wonderful ball to make it 3-1. So yeah, let's, let's not neglect him. Let's not forget about Curtis Jones, who I know um, is a project at this point, but you know, for, su for such a young lad, a teenager, again, he looks so comfortable tonight. Some great through balls, um, great composure and possession. Um, and Daniel Sturridge being back, and Adam Alana being back, you know? I mean, he was out most of last season. He's there as an option in that second midfield role. I know we've lost Oxlade Chamberlain, which is a huge blow, but I still think overall there's far more there um, to contribute to us scoring plenty of goals this season than there was last season. And there's obviously more in defence. Uh, we have added Nathaniel Klein back from injury. We've had a added Allison, uh, a genuinely world-class goalkeeper, and we've added that uh, solidity with Fabinho. So all of that coming together, plus the um, you know added bonus of everyone having known each other for a long time now. Um, there's a great camaraderie within the squad. 
I'm very, very positive. And tonight just kind of backs that up. More good fun in front of the Anfield crowds and nice goals and some entertainment. And that is what we're in store for for the next nine or ten months. And I cannot wait for every single step of the way. So, Sunday it's West Ham. I'm going to be there. I'll be vlogging the game. So, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure you are as of now. Uh, because I will be covering every single game. I'm going to be going to the vast majority of games this season. That's the plan anyway. Um, so, I cannot wait to get started this Sunday. The time has finally come. Let me know in the comments where we're going to finish in the Premier League this season. Um, the, the, the Cups are what they are. I want to win trophies, of course. Um, but the main one is the Premier League and I want to know where you think we're going to finish so let me know your thoughts and if there's any other comments on tonight's game man of the match for me it was Wijnaldum um, anyone that maybe forced their way into Klopp's plans that maybe surprised you um, anyone disappointed you you know Fabinho missing a penalty did you think he had an okay game um, Nat Phillips obviously playing alongside Van Dijk how do you think he fared um, love to know all of your thoughts I'll of course reply to every single comment uh, and of course follow me on Twitter Instagram Snapchat and Facebook for more and I'll see you next time